Hey, what's up, YouTube? We are in Mad Little Pixels 128 gigabyte image, and this one is shrunken enough that it should fit. Here's some of the systems on here: Daphne, CP3, CP2, CP1, Cave. All your arcade games are going to be in there: Neo Geo Pocket Color, Regular Pocket, Neo Geo Regular, MSX2 and MSX, Atari Lynx, 7800, 2600. Uh, you do have some PSP minis. You just have about five or so PSP games. PlayStation about 15 or, or 20 games. Wonder Swan Color and Wonder Swan. PC Engine, Super Graphics, Super Graphics 16. Game Gear. There is 10 Dreamcast games. Sega CD, 32X, SG-1000, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Game & Watch, Virtual Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, N64, Super Famicom, Super Nintendo, Family Computer Disk System, and Nintendo Entertainment System. On this image we have Sega 32X, 33 games, Sega CD, 25 games, SG-1000, 68 games, Super Nintendo, 786 games, Virtual Boy, 24 of those, Wonder Swan, 111 of those, Wonder Swan Color, 85 of those, Arcade, Mame, and Final Burn Alpha all in one spot here under Arcade, 2882, Atari, 2600, we have 648 games, Atari 7800, we have 59 games, Atari Lynx, we have 76 games, Daphne, 11 games, Dreamcast, about 10 I believe, Family Computer Disk System, 90 games, Game Gear, 249, Game Boy, 565, Game Boy Advanced, 1098, Game Boy Color, 535, Sega Master System, 281, Sega Mega Drive, 810, MSX, 567, Nintendo 64, 303, Neo Geo, 142, Nintendo, 791, Neo Geo Pocket, 9, Neo Geo Pocket Color, 40, no MS-DOS, PC Engine, 290, you have Cody, the same Cody that's on Ray's image, PSP, you have 5 games, and PlayStation, you have 25 games. Alright, we just updated all the scripts, it took about 2 hours, as you can see, last updated about uh, 14 hours ago, but I just updated it. Now, um, a couple things I wanted to show you in here really quick is if your controls aren't working, you can go ahead and click Configuration Tools. Go ahead and log into your Wi-Fi here. Um, you can go into here into um, Emulation Station, click this one. Go to um, Clear Controllers. That's a good way to start Controller Scratch and just make sure you perform a reboot. Um, then uh, your Wi-Fi is here. There's a couple of things you want to do in there. Your Bluetooth is in there as well. Or you can get to your Bluetooth here on the main menu as well as your sound as well if you want to switch between 3.5 auxiliary or if you want to switch between uh, HDMI as well. Go ahead and boot this into um, a track mode. So here we are in a track mode and first off in the setup menu do you have a couple cool options. You got your audio settings right here, Bluetooth settings, configuration editor, file manager, you can generate some favorites, run command, retro arc, reboot, shut down, Kodi, emulation station, configure your Wi-Fi, show IP address, Raspberry Pi, RetroPie, and back to audio settings. So you have all that right there handy in there. You have the exit which usually takes you to command prompt. You do have your Daphne games when you click into here. You have a few. You have your CP3. Basically just the Third Strike and JoJo's. You have CP2. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Marvel vs. Capcom. Marvel Super Heroes. Okay, Dungeons and Dragons. CP1. 1941. Street Fighter Alpha's Street Fighter 2's, King of Dragons, Cave, got Sailor Moon, I mean that's all you need right there. 
and that's it. Just a few games in there. So this, I believe, is just where all the MAME games are. All the MAME and uh, Final Burn Alpha, you know, your Metal Slug, your uh, Mortal Kombat's, everything is in here. Atari 7800. PSP Mini. There's about four games. Oh, there's no preview for that one. So I'm missing a preview for that, but um, looks like the same ones that are on Rays. Maybe a little less, actually. Maybe a few less PSP Classics. PSP Portables, there should have been like four of those. Yep. PlayStation. Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan color. Super graphics. And Turbo graphics 16. Just a few games there. Game Gear, Dreamcast. So Dreamcast, I'm having some issues with. The games load, but the controls are way off, like unplayable with the controls. We'll mess with that some more. But the there's only ten games here. Um, a couple of them do they do run? Like I've had them run, so they do run. Sega CD, Sega 32, SG 1000, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, Game and Watch. Those little games, Virtual Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Nintendo 64. Super Famicom, Super Nintendo. So Super Famicom is in, uh, I guess, an emulation station is probably under Super Nintendo. And then uh, track mode setup. So you want to get into the menu. Go ahead and press Tab, and then here you can see if there's any uh, plugins installed. Nope. General. So we're on window full screen. Confirm when you try to exit. Yeah, that's good to have that on. Screensavers, intro. We're playing the uh, intro.mp4. Sound. Sound volume, 100%. Controls. Here's all your controls. If you want to change your track menu controls, like what you want to do to go to the next screen or skip over some things, it's all there. Uh, emulators. You have your individual emulators and then displays and all the way at the bottom of displays if you want like hide a menu or something like that or if you just want to change a display you can go over here and then uh, this is the unified display and uh, you see there's also probably Roto, robo spin on here and then we've got robo spin <laughs> and there it is other videos of just some gameplay and messing around with the image so please go ahead and check those out